form. He's come to Australia and he put up a huge effort in the Caulfield Cup. Greg Miles to call the 2015 Emirates Melbourne Cup. And Big Orange. He'll be the last one to go into the stalls. Field ready for the Emirates Melbourne Cup. Excess knowledge. The one to load in. Stand by for a start. Here's excess knowledge. Completing it now. Great race about to begin. Set. Quickly, who shot the barman? Satorius Criterion. Max Dynamite not too far away, down towards the inside. They're quite prominent. Over towards the outside, Quest for More is riding forward. Big Orange maintaining his line with excess knowledge on his outside, but they're both heading up towards the front running horses. It's quite a bunch field, not a tremendous amount of speed about in the early part. Fame Game's gone right back. He has about four or five behind him, and he's outside El Moon Quit. Quest for More had crossed down to the rails and he has to leave, but they're not going particularly hard. Quest for More being joined by Big Orange. Excess knowledge out wide on the course. He's pasted deep with Anthony Cover. Snow Sky Pink Camera's fourth. And they're following Criterion on the inside. And Trip to Paris gets a nice run. A length and a half who shot the barman, Max Dynamite. And then Sky Hunter on the outside. About a length and a half further back in the field is Bondi Beach, Prince of Penzance and Grand Marshal. Uh, back behind those horses then is our Ivanhoe on the inside and then Hocko, Brave Red, Keto, Satori is the offer. A battling further back, Gust of Wind on the inside. They're followed then by the United States and Fame Game and well back in the field is El Moonquith. Hartnell the outside followed by Preferment and a length away is Kingfisher. He's at the tail end of the field. So they make their way along the riverside of the course now. And the field is being led by Big Orange now. He's out by two lengths. Excess Knowledge is second. Quest for More is third. Snow Sky is fourth. And Criterion getting a beautiful trail fifth. A length two trip to Paris. As they make their way by the 1600 metres next, Max Dynamite. Posted a little bit deep then Sky Hunter followed by who shot the barman Prince of Penzance. Then came Grand Marshal he'd be dead set middle of the field at the moment. Being followed Bondi Beach out three wide and then I our Ivanhoe being followed by Hocko Braverling further back as Red Cadeau. With him is the offer over on the outside as they make their way down the back of the course and about a length and a half further back in the field then is a gust of wind down on the inside. Uh, back behind those horses then is El Moon Griff as a fair way back in the field. Uh, Satoris was outside of Red Cadeau and they're followed now Fame Game. He'd be 20 lengths away from the leader. Uh, they're being followed then by Preferment at the end of the field. Kingfisher is still back last. Hartnell's about third last. Coming up the side of the course, they race before the home turn. Big Orange from Excess Knowledge. A length away then, Quest for More. Trip to Paris. He's working in on the outside and so is Snow Sky wide out. Then came Criterion trying to find a way through. Round the outside came Sky Hunter and Bondi Beach off the track as making ground two. Now Ivanhoe waiting for a run down on the inside as they bunch up around the turn. Now Fame Game, he's got to the extreme outside with the offer. Big Orange first for home from Excess Knowledge. Snow Sky joining in and now Trip to Paris is coming. They're followed then by who shot the barman going for a run on the inside is our Ivanhoe. Coming past the 300 metres, Excess Knowledge went to the lead narrowly. Here's Prince of Penzance coming on down the outside. Prince of Penzance for Michelle Payne. Now Max Dynamite starts to charge home. Prince of Penzance for Max Dynamite. Prince of Penzance, it's history at Flemington, Michelle Payne. Prince of Penzance beat Max Dynamite. Criterion's run third, then either trip to Paris, Gus the win, or Big Orange, the next one's over. Just behind those horses, the offer. And they're followed by Excess Knowledge. And back behind those then in the field was Fame Game didn't come on. And they were trailed then by El Ivanhoe. Uh, further back is Bondi Beach. Hartnell, El Moonquist, Preferment. Kingfisher's well back with Hocko Brave, Grand Marshal, and Sky Hunter and the United States are towards the tail of the field. Michelle Payne has created history at Flemington. The first lady to win the Melbourne Cup. Prince of Penzance, that... number 19. What an incredible moment. Uh, an incredible moment indeed. This famous racing family in Australia, the Payne family, their father, Paddy, a family full of jockeys. And what a big moment this is. And that man there, Stevie Payne, 
He suffers from Down syndrome and he walked into the barrier draw on Saturday night and they said, what gate? He said, I want to draw barrier one. He walked up, picked up the little miniature cup and it had a number one underneath it. And Michelle, his big sister, his greatest fan, she's there every minute of the day with him and such a great supporter of Darren Weir. She's the first lady to ride the winner of the Emirates Melbourne Cup. Victoria are so proud of this family. Sam Highland interviewing Michelle Payne. What an incredible moment for racing in Victoria. Sammy Highland. Michelle, this is stuff you dream about as a kid and you've spent your life in horse racing. What a moment. Unbelievable, Sam. I lied in bed last night and I gave my chance a little time to think and dream about it. And I thought about it, imagine if I'm talking to you after this race. It's unbelievable. It's like a dream come true. This horse is awesome. What he's been through, he's down we are. Unbelievable training to get him here like this today. All of his staff, Jared and Maddie and Tyson and all of them down at Warrnambool, this is all to them because they got this horse here in the best shape he could be in. And um, I'm just so grateful and thankful to them and all of the owners and this is just awesome. The fact that you've been on this horse for most of his career, you've had so much to do with him all the way through. Unbelievable, Sam. Um, when I won on this horse as a three-year-old, he won here and I thought this is a Melbourne Cup horse. And he just felt like he would run the two mile out that strong, but far out, I didn't think he'd be that strong. He was still towing me into the straight. And when he let go, Darren Weir said to count to 10. I was trying to count, but I didn't count. I was just hoping that was long enough. And he just burst to the front and he was powering through the line. That is just unbelievable. The connections with Sandy McGregor, John Richards, and all the fellow connections have stuck by you all the way. And it's terrific that you can reward them with a the Melbourne Cup. Absolutely. Um, John Richards, I believe he's the man to thank for me sticking with this horse. He, he stuck up for me the whole way through. Sandy's been great, probably wasn't my biggest supporter to stay on the horse, but he's been so nice to me. And all of the other owners, some of them, this is their first horse. He was $50,000. John Foote picked him out at the sales. And Jeremy, Jeremy's Darren's racing manager. It's just unreal that we're here today and he won. And Stevie Payne, the hero of this story, drawing barrier one, and you're gonna share this moment with him. That is just awesome. Stevie drawing one's probably the winning key to this. Don't know which barrier I would have picked and he picked the right one. Um, coming down the straight the first time, he became, began a bit steady and I had to give him a bit of a dig, which I didn't want to, to stir him up, but I had to to hold my spot where I wanted to be. I think Joe Marrero was a bit pissed off with me because he um, had to clip heels because was, he was trying to get to the fence and I was in there. And um, we travelled quite strong the whole way. He didn't really get to rest, but he, he was still in a rhythm. And from the thousand, everything just opened up. I got onto the back of um, Trip to Paris. He took me into the race. I was actually clipping his heels. I was going that good, but I didn't want to check him. And um, then he just got into the straight and he burst clear. It's unreal, Sam. Outstanding moment. Take it all in, Michelle. You've won the 2015 Melbourne Cup. Unbelievable. Thanks, Sam. Stevie Payne, you're the man of the moment. That's a great ride, a great win, Michelle. She needed it. Go to Stan. Good luck for both of them and all the, all the owners. And you and Michelle, the two youngest members of the Payne family, you live together. You drew the barrier one for her. Yeah. What a proud moment. That's a great moment. It's a great win and a great ride. Ten out of ten. And a great job by the strapper. Thank you. Stevie, congratulations. Thank you very much. You've got a Melbourne Cup. Yes. Finally got one on the hands. I don't think anybody around the world can really understand the moment that's happened here for the people of Victoria because this this is a famous family in Australian racing and Victorian family. They come from Ballarat. Oh, it's a cold old place in wintertime. It's not quite as cold as Newmarket or up in the mountains in Italy and Paris, but oh, there's not many colder places to be in Victoria, it has to be said. And every morning they're there and they're the friendliest, warmest family. The famous jockey, Paddy Payne, who rode around the world and won a Cox Plate, contended in Melbourne Cups. And here is Michelle, the little girl of the family. And I say though, that's so sincerely. And she walks in with a winner for her greatest mentor in many ways, her greatest supporter in Darren Weir. And there's Stevie leading them in. All of Victoria, all of Australia are loving this moment. This is something that we will treasure here in Melbourne for many years. We do every year. And also, what about the moment Michelle so eloquently touched on? Joe Marrera mightn't be her favourite person at the moment, but that's the way it is. This is the sport of kings. You need to be tough. 
you need to be strong. And then the jockey running her down, Max Dynamite, the famous jockey Frankie Dettori. Oh, to be a, a Melbourne Cup winning jockey, but to have a story like that tied to it, quite incredible. And for the breeding industry as well, the stallion Pentire from England to New Zealand, he's been the stalwart of an industry, producing stayers and long trip horses, not just here in Australia, but of course New Zealand, even in Hong Kong, they continue to run the long distances. And he's produced a Melbourne Cup winner. This is the famous walk that every owner, every, every breeder, every jockey, every trainer, and every strapper wants. He returns to scale. For those that missed the placings, Max Dynamite so good for Willie Mullins. Running second and a criterion for David Hayes, but second doesn't matter. Here comes the winner. The hush in the crowd. For the moment, Prince of Prenzance returns. I doubt if we've seen a warmer win. Forever we remember the Damien Oliver story. There's been so many stories. We need three hours to tell them all to you. But in the years to come, I think this story will be one that's at the top of the list. We watch Stevie every day at the races. He lives with so much pride for the animal. And here he is leading in a Melbourne Cup winner. And the owners have let Stevie walk him in. That's how important it is to all of the connections of this horse and the people racing in Victoria.